my gosh. It has no traction. It's on the most eco tires I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsors for today's video, Star Charge, Nokian Tires, and Amber. Star Charge is the largest EV charging manufacturer in the world and is also a provider of residential and commercial battery storage and microgrid solutions. This video is also brought to you by Nokian Tires, a leader in safety and sustainability. Maximize performance and efficiency with their made in USA all season tires and their dedicated Hakapalita EV winter line from the inventor of the winter tire. Learn more at nokiantires.com slash EV. This video is also brought to you by Amber. Amber offers a modern extended warranty for your Tesla's battery and more without the burden of long-term contracts or upfront payments. Check out the link in the description below to browse their plan options and get started with a free over-the-air diagnostic check. Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video and welcome to another BYD test drive. If you missed my previous video, I came here to the Schick automotive dealership somewhere near Innsbruck in Austria, and they lent me a BYD seal. So my friend Christina and I took it out and we had a great time ripping around the mountains. Now I've come back and I wanna take a look at the small one. This is the BYD Dolphin. I think it's really cool looking, really cute. And we're gonna go for a drive and nothing super fancy. Just go test drive it, basically take it around for 15 or 20 minutes in the BYD Dolphin. This car is pretty inexpensive. It starts in the 28,000 euro range or so and goes up to 35. This is a fully spec max one, but I think actually in a car like this, it makes sense to get the small battery with uh, you know the least amount of range with something like this fully spec 60 kilowatt hour battery pack in a car this size seems pretty big anyway we've got the byd blade battery the lfp tech in here we'll go through what i know about it and then we'll take it for a quick test drive my second byd experience this time in the dolphin <laughs> Here we go, guys, the BYD Dolphin. This is the full maxed out every option and everything. And it's kind of a funky color combo in this blue with silver, the blue and silver wheels. It's got actually a sense of personality and some quirkiness, dare I say. So uh, door handles, totally different. I mean, the whole car feels totally different than the seal that I just drove, but you can see there's a central display. There's a main screen on the inside. Some similarities when it comes to the software, it seems we'll play around with it. Um, let's take a look around the back. This thing looks pretty cool. I've never seen one on the road before. This is my first time seeing a BYD Dolphin, of course. And um, my parents also, the reason I'm not doing the Addo 3 at the moment is they've already made a video of the Addo 3 on their channel. So I'll leave that linked down below, but we have quite a bit of stuff. Oh, is this cool? You can plug this into the charge port and then get power out. Yep. So it's like vehicle to load, but look at all the power ports. So like Hyundai does this and Kia, but only with one plug, BYD gives you four plugs and you can do it on the Dolphin. That, damn. Okay, so like the Chinese, if you guys watched my SEAL video, I was so impressed with so many things on that car. And then so many things were like, just so close to being dialed in, but not quite dialed in. You know, when you look at like what a German automaker, when they do their final calibration and tuning, they really go into the fine tuning of pedal and ESP and all these things. So it all works well. It seems like the Chinese are building cars so fast, getting them out onto the production line as quickly as possible that maybe some of the final dials aren't being dialed in, if you know what I mean. But at the end of the day, like they're building cars and they're pretty competitive and really price competitive, especially here in the US. It's a little bit unfortunate because we have a 100% import tariff on Chinese cars. Some of you may think it's a great thing. Some may not. At the end of the day, it just is what it is. So we probably won't be seeing these cars in our market anytime soon, unless they start building them in South America and shipping them up. It's a real possibility. Uh, I'm just gonna set the driver's seat to my position, which is actually is set pretty close to how I would sit. Seat down. Wow, cool, cool interior. I gotta say, really cool interior. Let me try the back seat because look at this. Still plenty of room. Whoa, I'm driving a Volvo EX30 and that has no room behind the back. This is pretty similar in size, a little bit narrower, but very cool and definitely plenty, plenty of leg room cool door handle as well. I mean, it's a little bit plasticky, but again, this car is 28 grand. The materials are cool. 
I almost like this one more than the sealed because it has a sense of personality and it's kind of fun and weird and quirky. So in terms of specs, you can either get a high 40 kilowatt hour battery pack, 48 kilowatt hour, something like that, or this one, which is 64 kilowatt hours, gross 60.5 usable. It's LFP BYD blade, 400 volt system architecture. The small batteries, 300 volts. So they just take modules out and drop the voltage. So if you do trips and need to charge, this is probably the one to do. 150 kilowatt, 201 horsepower front motor. They claim 400 ish kilometers of range. But um, let's jump inside and just go for a quick drive, shall we? The BYD Dolphin, my first time trying this one out. Well, guys, you join me getting into the Dolphin now. And I mean, this is a cool interior. It's pretty funky. The colors are weird. I mean, certainly it's not, I would say, visually appealing, but it's certainly interesting. I Actually, this one being a top spec even has the glass roof that you can open up, add to the airiness feel. And it has an interior that is different than the other models. So we have park reverse neutral drive here, your switch for drive mode, slippery mode. This is your regen setting, I'm guessing. Hazards, automatic for the climate control, which we're just gonna turn down a bit. And uh, volume, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's maybe not the highest quality volume. You can see I can move it around in its spot. So, okay, this is an economy car with, you know, build to cost pricing, but you have a phone uh, holder right there, start stop button, which is interesting and uh, a nice storage place even up here on the dash so i say we just drive it you ready christina yeah. all right into drive normal mode we have normal eco and sport we have yep regen in standard or on high we'll go high regen we're charged to 66 percent state of charge and in terms of the software i think it's yeah identical to the seal in this case so you have Spotify built in, all the same apps. So watch the seal review if you want to know how all this stuff works. It seems to be, um, yeah, pretty much all oh, the then. same. In the Dolphin. Okay, this actually feels very similar to me like a like a Chevy Bolt in terms of the raked windshield, sort of the rough size of the car, maybe even slightly smaller than a Bolt, but it feels pretty similar and it's LFP. So I'm kind of into that. We just need to see if we're going to hit the cone or not. It's pretty tight through here. Holy smokes but we're good. Yeah, just creeping by. All oh, nice, great. And we are off in the dolphin. <laughs> okay, we've got a nice Model 3 Highland coming up this way. Cool, and we're out on the road. My first time driving a dolphin. Front wheel drive now and a very more economy car if you will. All right, we're all buckled in now, ready to experience the raw power of the Dolphin. So I'm gonna go into sport mode. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Actually pretty fast, holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> That's really fun actually. Um, you know, the car, this is meant to be more of a city car, a daily driver, if you live in an urban environment, something inexpensive. Um, you know, really down there with a, an e-Nero or a Kona in our market would be similar. We don't really have that many small electric cars. You have like 500e and Mini, but then you come up here to this one and this gives you certainly a lot more range than those cars, probably better charging performance. It's like 10 to 80 in 30 minutes, should be totally fine. Uh, but this is a cool driving experience. It's got a huge windshield out the front. It's got, uh, you know, it's funny, the wipers don't even come up that high. That's hilarious. And oh, it's nice, really cool. So it's got the same driver assistance as the um, SEAL has, it feels like. So it's doing active lane centering. Again, this one having every option. I'm pretty sure it's standard equipment though to get all the driver assistance, which is great. And we're coming in here to the city. Car feels really nicely put together. No squeaks, no rattles. I kind of like this one more than the <laughs> more than any VYD. It's got a sense of personality and it's pretty fun. So I don't know, what would you guys rather have? This with 10 to 20,000 euros in the bank or a Model 3 Highland Refresh? For me, probably the Model 3 because that's a pretty good car. But this is still really fun to experience. And if you have need a second car or a car for a kid or even a, a grandparent or something, you know, I'm just thinking most people who just spend time around their own area in the city who just need a cheap piece of A to B transportation, well, this seems to solve the ticket pretty well. Um, let's try some more acceleration from 50 now. Three, two, one. 
there is so much lag when you hit the accelerator pedal. But the brake pedal feels even better than the seal. It's not as touchy in this one. But something I noticed with the uh, with the other BYD cars is just how not well tuned all the small inputs are. So you really have to be not a car person, I think, to go for one of these. If you care about the fine inputs, you would buy a Mini Cooper SE or something like that because all of the fine low speed characteristics are just tuned in there or an e-golf or an e-up that just went by. You know, the Germans really spend time on the stuff that matters, I think, and um, no one else really does. Even, even the 500E isn't totally well-tuned. Let's just take a right into this little construction area. Flying in, we're gonna do what a SEAL should do, which is drive around in parking lots. It's actually unbelievably comfortable and soft. You'll get, if you hit a bump, you'll get a little bit of body porpoising though, but it works well. Let's try the U-turn ability because having a good turning radius is important in a car like this. Amazing. Pretty good turning radius. Let's see if we have cameras for reversing and stuff. Into reverse. Yeah, and a 360 cam on this little city car. How about that? Okay, cool. And we can even do this surround view stuff. I mean, it's not well tuned. We noticed the same glitches when we were in the, uh, in the seal. I don't know why it does that, but you can even see underneath the car. So as I drive, it will fill in a picture as to the thing you've run over. So if you hit someone and want to see their reaction, you just keep driving and you'll see a full picture of their face. In the drive. <laughs> Spinning the tires. Oh, I wonder if it'll do a burnout. Let's see. We can come here. We're going to go to ADAS. I think it was under this one. Uh, ESC off. Okay, ready? Let's see if it'll smoke the tires. Three, and then we got to get the heck out of here as soon as possible. Okay, three. Well, let's wait for this truck. <laughs> He's going to be like, why is there a BYD spinning the tires in my parking lot? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it has no traction. It's on the most eco tires I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> Still spinning tires. That's amazing. And braking test. <laughs> the brakes were pretty good. <laughs> and it does the same hazard flashing light thing. Oh, this is really fun. Really hilarious how it just, you know, 150 kilowatts available from zero. It'll just roast those, ti those tires all day long. So like, this is a cool little car. Just again, a very quick test drive from my side, but you get in, it's got good tech. It needs better route planning and all that stuff. Same issues the SEAL has, uh, finding chargers and everything. That's gotta be adapted for this market, but good driver assistance, good power. Could use again, fine tuning on the final stuff, but it's the right size. It's got a sense of personality seems to be priced pretty well and um you know if you just need an a to b car well hey this is pretty damn good pretty damn good so thanks for watching just a quick test drive of the byd dolphin i mean i'd love to do more get it on test do all the range tests charging tests all that stuff in the future but just a very 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 quick drive for the amount of time that we have available and it is um it's good it's really good I've enjoyed it, and I hope BYD focuses on the last 10% of their cars, which would be throttle calibration, brake pedal calibration, handling, ESP stuff, make it really dialed in, and then I would totally recommend someone to buy one of these. It's so close. No cigar yet, but so close. Thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. See you in another one again soon. Bye-bye.